my name is Marianne Vertiflor. Um, today is December 10th, 2017. Uh, this is for Azusa Pacific Bio 240. Uh, today we will be talking about the digestive system. Um, so I'm going to pretend that I just ate a cheeseburger. So here we go. So first, actually the digestion actually first begins in your mouth. So with the chewing and the mixing of the saliva, um, it's di digested a little bit better so it can be absorbed through your body and use it. Um, after that, it goes down to the throat and then to the esophagus. The esophagus is a muscular tube that extends from the pharynx to the stomach um, by a series of contractions called peristalsis. The esophagus, the esophagus delivers food um, to the stomach next. Uh, let's see, so in the stomach, um, it holds the food and it also mixes and grinds the food as well. Uh, stomach also secretes acid and enzymes that continues the process of breaking down the food. Um, upon leaving the stomach, the food is in a liquid or paste form. From here, it moves down, we can't really see the picture, but to the small intestines. Um, so for the small intestines, um, they're made up actually of three segments, the du duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. Uh, the small intestines is a long tube loosely coiled in the abdomen um, I think when you spread it out, it could be up to 20 feet long. Um, the small intestine continues the process of breaking down the food by using enzymes released by the pancreas and bile from the liver. The bile is then compounded, compounded into, um, compounded so it aids in the digestion of the fat and it actually eliminates the waste products from the blood. Um, using peristalsis again, um,